Today, we're diving into PIR sensors, or passive infrared sensors, which are widely used for motion detection. But how do these tiny devices work? A PIR sensor is a device that detects motion by picking up infrared radiation, which is emitted by all objects with heat. Human bodies, animals, and even objects radiate some level of infrared light. Inside a PIR sensor, there are two important components, bioelectric sensors and a Fresnel lens. A pyroelectric sensor, which you can see in the image below as a round metal with a rectangular crystal in the center. A special lens called a Fresnel lens which focuses the infrared signals on the pyroelectric sensor. Let's see the pinout of PIR sensor. GND is the ground pin. Output pin is the 3.3 volt TTL logic output. It goes high when motion is detected and goes low when idle. VCC is the power supply for the sensor. You can connect an input voltage anywhere between 5 to 12 volts to this pin. A pyroelectric sensor consists of a window with two rectangular slots and is made of a material, typically coated silicon, that allows infrared radiation to pass through. Behind the window, there are two separate infrared sensor electrodes, one responsible for producing the positive output and the other for producing the negative output. But here's the key, both slots need to sense a change in infrared levels to detect movement. Here's how it works, when an object with heat, like a person, enters the sensor's range, the first slot senses an increase in infrared radiation. As the person moves, the second slot also picks up the radiation, causing a rapid change in signal. This change is interpreted by the sensor as motion. Why is it called passive infrared? That's because the PIR sensor doesn't emit any energy itself, it passively receives infrared radiation from its surroundings. This makes it energy efficient, ideal for battery powered devices like security systems and lights. This PIR sensor itself is pretty straightforward and works out of the box. Simply apply power 5 volts, 12 volts and ground. The sensor output goes high when motion is detected and goes low when idle. Let's talk about the components in PIR sensor. BISS0001 PIR controller. This chip takes the output from the pyroelectric sensor and does some minor processing on it to emit a digital output pulse. Power module. The module comes with a 3.3 volt precision voltage regulator, so it can be powered by any DC voltage from 4.5 to 12 volts, although 5 volts is commonly used. Protection diode to protect the module from reverse voltage and current. Sensitivity adjustment The PIR sensor has a potentiometer on the back to adjust the sensitivity. This potentiometer sets the maximum detection range. Sensitivity can be adjusted over a range of approximately 3 meters to 7 meters, 9 to 21 feet. However the topology of your room can affect the actual range you get. Rotating the pot clockwise will increase the sensitivity and thus the range, and vice versa. Time delay adjustment There is another potentiometer on the back of the PIR sensor to adjust the time delay. This potentiometer sets how long the output will remain high after motion is detected. It can be adjusted from 1 second to about 3 minutes. Turning the potentiometer clockwise increases the delay, while turning the potentiometer counterclockwise decreases the delay. Trigger selection jumper There are two trigger modes that determine how the sensor will react when motion is detected. Single trigger mode, the constant motion will cause a single trigger. Multiple trigger mode, the constant motion will cause a series of triggers. I hope you have learned something new today. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more 3D explanations. Thanks for watching.